everyone. My name again is Araceli Garcia, and I am your ELA TOSA for Hacienda La Puente Unified School District. Just wanted to do a quick little tutorial on an awesome program called Book Creator. So if you're looking for an end of the year project, uh, maybe your students are dealing with a lot of test fatigue, this is a great app to use. So let me go ahead and jump right in. So first of all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send you this presentation that you can give to your own students uh, or you can call me in and we could schedule a time to meet. Again, this is great for end of the year project or if you're teaching summer school, great projects to do in summer school. All right, so here's a lesson that I would do to introduce students to Book Creator. Um, First, I would definitely give them a little preview of what this app is. I would show them some of the key tools on how to use the program, and that's what I'm going to do here. You can even show this video in your classes, right? Uh, you can evaluate the different types of digital books. Remember that this is not just for ELA classes. You could do this in your science, math, PE classes. So it's a great tool just to kind of get students to be creative and give them some choice and voice. I'm going to show you how to plan, how to design, and how to actually publish this book online where students can share with authentic audiences. It looks professional and it looks, uh, again, like, a, a, again, an author wrote these type of books. All right. Uh, if I'm teaching the class, I would definitely have all my students give me a little exit ticket, and that would be to show me that they know how to use this program. All right. What else do we have? So what is Book Creator? So one of the things that you can do is actually show them. Uh, let's see if the video, uh, there's a little video on YouTube and I'll give you the link to that. And basically what Book Creator is, is just an open app where students can go in and write their own stories. They can add their own pictures from uh, their own websites or they can um, find images online. They can record their own voices or even put in their own videos, right? Uh, they cannot make all types of books as you'll see in a moment. And then the cool thing is that they can share it or they can even download it or print out their books. So lots of possibilities. Okay, what else do we have? Here's a couple of ideas that you might uh, like for end of the year projects. So you can have students do an all about me. Who are they now as they're about to leave? You can even do a dedication to uh, students, you know, who are entering their grade, or they can write a note to self, right? Uh, a little reflection. Uh, they can do a yearbook, either of their friends, things that they've done there that school year, right? Uh, or they can even do a literary yearbook or a scientific yearbook, right? Who are the famous people in that field? They can do a how-to book, how to cook a recipe, how to play a video game, right? So this is a chance for them to shine in a, in a topic that they know. And here's an awesome one. They can create a comic book. Why not, right? So many more ideas. What else? Let's go ahead and make a book. So uh, for students, this is what I would have them do. So a couple of things. Number one, you can go straight to class link and open Book Creator, and it's going to ask you to put in a code. So the teacher has to have created a library where you are going to add your book to that uh, to that library. All right, and others will be able to see it. So just know that, right? Make sure you're following your teacher's instructions. Another way that you can get into Book Creator is that your teacher gives you the direct link and maybe they post it on Canvas, right? So that's another way. All right, uh, what I'm gonna have you do first is you're gonna go to Landscape, you're gonna go onto Book Creator and you'll see about six possible templates. And I'm gonna have you go to Landscape, not the comic one, just the regular landscape. You're going to click on that plus sign, ooh, got moved a little bit, and I'm going to ask you to add the following things. I want you to add three images. I'm going to say three images of favorite pets, right, or animals. Um, I'm going to ask you to put your name somewhere on your slide. I'm going to ask you to add some shapes, maybe interesting uh, icons that you're interested in. I'm going to show you how to do a background or border. or even going to add a, a, a GIF of maybe some of your favorite activities or hobbies. And if you're brave enough, you can add a voice recording or a video recording, maybe saying hello or wishing everyone a happy summer. All right, let's go ahead. And what I like to do is actually go into Book Creator. So I'm going to take you over to Book Creator. So this is my library here. All right. So as you can see, I've done a number of little different projects. Um, this is the one I just did for the district. So I'm highlighting what all the teachers are doing in the different classrooms. Here's a comic book that I did. So I'm going to show you that. 
And here's a cool thing. Notice how here I can actually go to play. And I always like to expand to full screen so you can really see it. And then it can flip my pages. So these are all the images that I went ahead and embedded, right? So there's mine. I went ahead and added the wording and text box. I even added myself in this comic book, right? And again, there's some animated GIFs that I can add. So this is just a little sample. I can go back and I can keep adding pages if I wanted to, right? And so if I go here, I can actually add more pages and so forth. All right. So that's a comic book. Take a look at this one. This is a fantasy book. So this is a template that you can actually take the images and then write your own stories. So this would be fun for all those of you who might be creative. So notice again, I can change all of this wording here, right? I could do it once upon a time and really kind of have fun with that. I can even add a collaborator, add another friend to help me write this book. Got it? Okay, so that's that. All right, so let me go back and I'm gonna show you what I need you to do. So your teacher will be creating a library. So just to show the teachers how to do that, you're gonna create a new library, you're gonna give that name. So maybe it's your school's name or your period. Notice all the things you could turn on or off, right? Can they publish? Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, they can publish it. Maybe you become famous, yeah, right? Do you want to translate? Maybe you wanna give this book to your a parent, right? Or, or someone else, yeah, you can have the book translated. So this will allow students to do all kinds of things. So I'm gonna say, create a library. Oops, I'm going to put here practice. And I've created a library. Okay, so once I have created a library, I'm here, and I don't think you can see it up here, but it says show invite code. So if I click on that, oh, let me see if I could do that. My screen is covering it. So then I'm going to have a code here. This is the code students have to enter, or like you, I said before, you can also give them the link. Right, so either way, I can have my students join that way. All right, what else do we have? So then the students would start adding a new book, all right? So I'm gonna go back to the one I already have. And here's uh, the instructions I wanted. So I said, I want students to create a book, right? A page, really, of the following things. I wanted three images. So there's some three images of some animals. I want your name, right? A background, some shapes, there's my gifts and maybe a voice recording. I did add a, a voice recording. So that's basically what our first practice would be what, okay? So let me go back. So how would you do that? I'm gonna click right here, it says new book. I'm gonna click on landscape. Now here's where I'm gonna play with some of the tools, okay? So notice here, let's see if I can move this up. Here's where you can have the plus sign, okay? So here's where you can add images. If you have, um, you know, if you wanna take a picture or video, you could do, and of course, text and recording. So I'm gonna do image. I'm gonna just look for images, let's say of cats, right? Okay, and I could just write, just like most of the apps that you're used to. It does take us sometimes a little while and notice how I can then minimize that, right? I can go like that and I can switch it around. So that's how I can add an image. I can add some text box, right? I can say hello. I can change the font, right? Not the font yet, actually just this, and I could change the color, all right? And notice how it's kind of small. So here, once I'm in this box, I'm gonna to go to this inspector, that's what it's called, inspector image, and this is where I can do a couple other things. For example, I can make it bigger, I can make it bold, I could center it, I could change the color, I could change the font, okay? So this is where I could add the font, okay? So again, you can kind of play with that, all right? Okay, uh, what else can I do? Uh, I can all do, you know, I can translate my information, all kinds of things, all right, what else? Um, I can add, like I said, a pen. Here's a fun thing, I could do a shape. So I could do these shapes, but I like to go here and I like to do something like, okay, what's some fame things that I like? Okay, ooh, uh, I really like this one. I can move it around, right? I said I can do this a little bigger okay so again you can kind of play with these okay and let's add one more thing let's see I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go here and I want to add some background so I could do patterns notice there right and I can actually also add uh, textures okay whoops move this down so you can see it 
Okay, so I could do textures also. Okay, so you can have some fun with that. Uh, what else can I do? Um, I could do borders, comics, all kinds of things. All right, finally, I want to add, uh, if you go to more, you might have to download this. I already downloaded mine, uh, but it's pretty easy and it'll give you some options. I wanted to add some GIFs. So here's some GIFs I can add. I'm just going to put um, dancing. I like dancing. So what are some hobbies? Right? There you go. Right? And I might add something like that. Okay? So that's pretty much, you know, it. I Like I said, you can um, do all kinds of different little things there. Like I said, if uh, really the inspector one is where you can do a lot of modifications to things. Uh, you can make things small, large, so forth. Um, right? Okay. When you're getting ready to publish you want to first check to see what your book looks like. So you can go plus here, right, to the play one, and you could turn the pages if you have multiple pages. And what you want to do is click on those three little buttons, and then you can click publish. Or if you want to print it or download it, you can do that too. All right. And so what will happen is now that I go to the library, now you'll see two books there, right? And so you can go ahead and, you know, put those there. Make sure you have your name and so forth. All right, I'm going to go back to, okay, I'm going to go back to my main library. All right, now, after you've done your practice one, what I'd like you to do is when you're here in your class, right, and you go to new book, is that now I'm going to give you some different things you can do, uh, different templates. So you can go here and instead of going blank, you can go templates. Take a look at this. Now you have choices. So maybe you want to do a newspaper or tell us what's happening around town. Uh, you could do, if you love pictures and taking your own pictures, you could do some photo books. How about a how-to, right? A cookbook of your favorite recipe. How about a yearbook? This one's kind of fun. I'm going to highlight this one just for a second. Because if you are, you know, kind of struggling to come up with some ideas, you can just use this one. It already gives you some ideas of what you can write. For example, pretend you're the principal. What would the principal say to the class of 2024, right? So you can do that. Uh, you can add emojis or images of your friends from your classes, right? Uh, or even take actual pictures of them. Uh, here gives you some more ideas. This is other pages you can add. Take a look at this one. You can write all about you, right? And so you can kind of just keep creating uh, fun little things. There you go, right? And so you can make your own book and now it gets automatically added. All right, what else do we have? So again, could go here, templates, uh, take a look at all oh, that. So there's that fantasy book. You can do all kinds, right? And you can always change this. You could do a magazine, you could do a fiction book, right? Uh, a how-to book. Let's say you wanted to show someone the steps on how to uh, skateboard or how to play a video game or maybe a scientific lab, right? So again, doing a how-to book would be awesome. All right, and just a little note for your teachers here. Teachers, when you get onto this website, you can go to Discover and take a look here, and you can look at all types of things, and you can do this uh, search for specific uh, subjects, right? You can even go by grade and just get more and more ideas of what students can do. There's even things on, for example, uh, SEL stuff, like, you know, a well-being journal, right? All kinds of things. Again, stuff for high school kiddos. Uh, I love that there's one where a high school class did a yearbook of their favorite literary characters and so forth. So lots of fun things to do. All right, so that's pretty much it with Book Creator. I'm gonna go back here. When you're ready to publish, uh, you're just going to click, like I said, that plus sign, click on those three dots to go full screen, and you have some options. Again, you can translate the book if you wanted to. Uh, what else do you have? Um, I showed you other possible topic, digital books that you can do, the templates, and you can have fun making your own book. You can always change it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it. We're just practicing how to do something like this. All right. That's the little tutorial on Book Creator. I hope you enjoy it. Our district at the moment does have this, uh, you know, free for now. Um, they did purchase it, 
if uh, the license comes uh, runs out don't worry the free program the free app has many uh you know the same tools you could still create a class library so uh whether we purchase it as a district or not you're still able to use this and there's always new updates and great new things so thank you very much i hope you enjoy this program and this app thank you